Okay, the next question on our frequently asked questions for spark plug thread repair is um, how to prevent piston damage. Um, I'm reading this question. Uh, it says, how can I be sure that the piston is down far enough that the, that the drilling won't damage it? Because uh, it's good to have the valves closed. We talked about that. But then you don't want to have the piston up uh, far enough that you may drill into it and damage it. Um, you know, you have to stick the tooling down uh, quite far to to uh, do damage and continue drilling to damage it to begin with. But um, by following the previous step with the 389 4000, uh, you're going to find that the valves are closed, and then you continue turning the engine a little bit more, then the the piston is going to drop down. Now another uh, way to just verify that the piston is down far enough out of your way is you can use a long screwdriver or a long quarter inch extension, something small enough, small enough tooling you can stick down in the spark plug hole and you can actually feel the piston um, if it's at near the top. Um, in fact I used to uh, check top dead center when uh, doing timing belts uh, on different engines by doing it just like that. You would stick the tooling down down the spark plug hole and if you're trying to find number one to do a timing belt you do it on the number one cylinder and uh, turn the engine over and once the piston raises up to the highest point then uh, you would know that it is at top dead center. Uh, but in this application you're going to want to make sure that the uh, piston is dropped down out of your way and you can actually make little measurements with a sharpie make a little mark uh, on the tooling and compare that to the tooling that you're using to do the spark plug thread repair uh, just to make sure that it's not sticking down far enough to hit the piston. <laughs>